Okay, I should be live. Hi, it's me, your mother goose Justine, and I am back with more Amberlynn Reed reacts. I would love to welcome my gaggle back to my flock. So for today's Cozy Monday stream, I wanted to take a look at... Guys, there was a four-month period. Four months after Destiny broke up with her, and then she starts roping in Becky. There was four months of vlogs of single life from Amber, so... I wanted to watch some with you guys. I'll have timestamps to when these reactions begin, pins in the comments, and it'll also be in the description of today's video. In case you want to skip me catching up with my audience in the beginning, I don't blame you because I, I kind of go on and on, so. <laughs> hey everybody, oh, happy Canadian Thanksgiving, that's right. Are you guys eating today? Do you guys have like an eating holiday like we do? Because we just eat for four days when it's Thanksgiving here in America. I wonder if you guys do the same thing. All right. Today, we are starting with a bang again. Starts with a bang. What's first? Uh, Catherine Fay, Jan on the Lamb, um, Katie, Evergreen, Punk Rock Noir, and Fala, Brooklyn. Gosh, guys, thankfully, I still don't... Uh, there's not a Sophie in sight. Thankfully. All right, I guess we'll see. Oh, the Nerk Alert made it. She's having pizza today. Good for you. <laughs> Was that... Is that the first time you've had a carb in, like, weeks? <laughs> Good. I'm glad you're enjoying Thanksgiving, for frig's sake. <laughs> Wait, clickbait? Is this clickbait what I'm doing? I don't think so. I, th I think it's really fascinating that there's four months of vlogs in which Amber is single. Like, four months. I can't believe I haven't delved into this era more often. Oh, next Sunday will be great, Tim. That Everybody's going to be watching that game. Oh, you're having a terrible Monday, Junix? I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, that's right, Jody. Holiday carbs don't count. I mean, you got to give yourself a holiday for frig's sake. I don't know. The way I see it, anyway. <laughs> Ooh! Morgan is a... <clears throat> works as a delivery driver, and this is the first time I've been able to catch a live. That's amazing. That's amazing. It's probably a big weekend for deliveries, I would imagine, with Thanksgivings going on. <laughs> Kirsten's eating leftover Mexican food for breakfast. Well, that sounds delicious. Yes, four months, Danielle. Um, so let me look at it right now. And I'm very... It took me a long time to find these videos, so I'm being super careful with this tab. Um, so she posted, We broke up five years ago. That was January 26, 2017. Then she posted, you scroll up, there's a whole bunch of vlogs we have to watch, guys. I'm very excited. So you gotta scroll up. She vlogged a lot during this period. I'm, it's pumped. She was on a weight loss journey and all of it, right? Uh, let's see. You keep scrolling. Meet my girlfriend was four months later, May 26, 2017. So there's, there's all these vlogs. In fact, hold on. Let me turn this on for you guys so you can see what I'm looking at. Look at all these vlogs. So here's Meet My Girlfriend. It's got a red bar. I don't know if you can see my cursor. And then you scroll, scroll, scroll. Look at all these single life vlogs, guys. Like, it, it, I, I know definitely what I want to watch is there's one uh, new apartment. So proud of her. I guess Destiny was moving into a new apartment. We're definitely going to watch that one. Uh, and she's moved on, I want to watch. But there's a, yeah, we broke up. Look at all these vlogs. That is crazy. Keep scrolling. Still vlogs of her being single. There it is, and then you stop. Look at all those dang vlogs. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, you know what? I know that Amber had a single life period. I, I, I knew that Amber had a single life period. I... I had no idea it was that extensive. 
yeah, the Get Drunk With Me vlog was during this time period. Uh, hold on. You know what else was during this time period? This was early in this time period. Do you remember when she did the Flaming Hot Cheetos challenge with Carly... Who was that? Carly Steele. Do you guys remember that drama? That was, uh... <laughs> that was a few days after she posted We Broke Up. How crazy is that? Yeah, it did take her a while to cuff Becky, Jamie. I guess this is what... This we might have this to look forward to is what I'm saying. If if Amber's single again or is gonna become single, you know I mean she moved on to Winifred very quickly, but the, the time before that she did not. So she honestly had a few solid months. Uh, Valentine asked, "I wonder what Amber thinks of vlog is." <laughs> I guess sitting in front of a camera and talking about your weight. I don't know. <laughs> Becky did resist Thornback. I think she had a feeling. <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, there, there's all these dramatic sounding videos. And I guess she was still living in the apartment her and Destiny had together. I, I got it, guys. I got a friggin... Familiarize myself with all of this. Oh, the Nerf Lord said she recorded We Broke Up a month previous. Oh. So, alright, so five months of single vlogs. Yeah, and Jillian said she's her own reaction channel at this point. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Are you talking about me or her? Ha! <laughs> uh, Tim asks, how much longer will Winifred be there with Amber? We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like they were, Amber and Destiny were cohabitating for a little bit. Oh, you know what? Actually, she posted... I have a girlfriend. When was this? Maybe we should watch this one too. She posted, I have a girlfriend a little bit before meet my girlfriend. So anyway, there's a whole lot of single vlogs, guys. I am so excited. <laughs> you didn't get a notification, Rainy Rage. It's all right. We didn't, we haven't done nothing yet. So <laughs> We're, I'm just... So, actually, someone said something about me having a plan for once. I don't, actually. I, I'm not even sure which one definitely I'm clicking on, but I just can't believe we have all this going on. Well, Haley, do, aren't they month to month? Uh, Amber Lynn and Winifred? I have no idea, guys. I don't know what's going on with her life. Other than, the only thing I know about her life is that she's still not losing weight. <laughs> After all these years of reacting and all of it and all the diets and all of this and the doctors and the that's, it's, she's still not losing weight. That's all I know. <laughs> oh, I hope you have a better day, Rainy Rage, for frig's sake. Well, I tell you what, we're back at it though. Don't worry. You finally made it. And I didn't, I didn't even, you didn't even miss nothing. Wait, my task bar gives you anxiety? That's amazing. That's all I have to do is show my task bar and it gives you anxiety? That's so funny. That's, wait, which task bar? The one down here? With all the pictures? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it's a lot of icons. And they're a huge mess and there's unchecked notifications on them. How unsatisfying is that? Type 1 if this is bothering you right now. <laughs> Wait, Chantal is striking reaction channels? That summer? Okay, well I guess she's not that changed. I don't know. <laughs> I guess she's not... I don't know. She's. I don't know what's going on with Chantal. I feel like... I don't know. But I've actually been watching her, like, the past couple videos, I, because I'm just so fascinated by whatever she's going through right now. 
All right. All right. So a couple people are bothered by my taskbar. Sorry. Taskbar staying up. Sorry. <laughs> All right, the task bar is not going to be there forever. For frig's sake, you guys, are friggin' God forbid. God darn forbid. And <laughs> Jamie said, Mark, you would die if you saw my desktop. You guys haven't even looked at my desktop yet. It's even more horrendous. Icons everywhere. Very unsatisfying. Very triggering. Very unfortunate. Like, if. Do you guys want to see my desktop? <laughs> <laughs> What's your screen background? It's a uh, probably the one it, this computer came with. Very unsatisfying, very unorganized. Looks like I don't care. <laughs> yeah, Tim said based on her last quote vlog, Amber has gained quite a bit of weight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's not doing too good. So there's that. I'm not showing the guys. I'm not actually showing the desktop. It's too much of a mess. Too much of a mess. <laughs> the anybody said I'm based. What does that mean? What does based mean? Can someone please explain to me what based means? What does that mean? Apparently I'm based. Based on what? What am I based on? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that even mean? Does that mean basic? Like, ba I'll agree with that. What does based mean? Uh <laughs> oh, definitely not a geek, the narc alert. I, I'm the opposite of a geek. I'm a disaster. Based basically means you're cool. Based in logic and facts. Oh, Andy said based. Definition. Justine. <laughs> Based on what? Based on what? What does that even mean? I still have this stupid friggin' cough, guys. It is driving me nuts. And, like, my whole family's got this stupid cough. And it's, like, driving me nuts. <laughs> G giggle lady as in Giga Chad. Guys, this is too much. Based used to mean positivity and happiness and doing your own thing. Yes! Okay. The Narkler said originally meant to be addicted to... Uh, right. Um, to carry yourself with swagger. That's what's up. Sure, I got swagger. <laughs> sure. Okay, Lil B popularized the term. He's the based god. Alright, so based means me, Justine. Alright, thank you. I, I... I'll take it. <laughs> Happy birthday, Reagan. Ray Jen, I'm sorry. Happy birthday, Ray Jen. It's amazing. I'm, oh, I'm so quirky, Megan. I'm so unique. You have no idea. Yeah, Mert's home, but she, of course, wants nothing to do with me. You know, she's busy, so, you know, you're not gonna friggin' hear or see from her. <clears throat> Ask Mert if I'm based. No, I'm not asking her anything. I'm asking her to leave me alone. That's the only thing I'm asking her. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, uh, I kind of did that earlier today, the vegan pill. But I'm I'm not going to say it out loud because if Mert knew that, she'd be mad at me. So that's our, that's our little secret. Oh, Simba's, Simba's being to Simba's. He's outside right now. He's getting a sun. It's a beautiful sunny day right now. You got a puppy last month, Smoxie? Oh my god. But he's doing good. He's my little baby. He had his wets this mornings and he had his pets and his loves and his rubs and all of it. Anyway, how long have I been live? 
Oh, tell me about it. Who said that? Did your cough hurt my chest? Tell me about it. I am so friggin' sick of this stupid cough. Like, and I thought it went away, and it did for like a day, but then it, it continued. God, which one am I going to react to first? I'm still deciding. I, I really should have prepared, guys. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, so I've been live 16 minutes, sorry. Okay, now I'm scrolling and deciding which one I would like to react to. I'm sorry, the uh, task bar is coming back, so if this bothers you, oh well. Y'all get triggered, so, like, come on, you've never seen a task bar before? What's the matter with you? This is the easiest way for me to react, and you know what? I'm all about what's easiest, not necessarily what looks best or works best. Whatever is the easiest, all right? <laughs> so I guess we can take a look at, um, all right, so they broke up. She posted, we broke up um, January 26th. She was hiding it for a long time before she finally admitted that they broke up. But this was posted on January 26th. Um, let's see, she did the, oh, here we go. She moved on. Well, there's one titled, I'm Changing. Do you guys see this? It's got a bunch of hearts in it. There was a girl's night out. I, guys, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> no, no, my taskbar is personally victimizing nobody, Sriracha. It's terrible. Uh, Ella asks, why not open the notifications? To bother you, that's why. All right, so I kind of want, how is Amber changing? I want to start there. There's a vlog titled, I'm changing five years ago. Command click, I'm not losing this friggin'. Oh, look at Amber, look how nice she looks. This is from February 9, 2017. This is a very single Amber. Um, I guess, yes, this is the apartment she shared with Destiny. Um, Amber's changing. How's this work? Let, let's see how much Amber has changed after being dumped. Hey guys. Hi. Um, so me and Destiny are about to go out. Just hang out. Um, I'm trying to fix my hair because I always have like these flyaways and that's why I'm so grateful for bobby pins, but... Even though bobby pins, like... All right, so, so far, single Amber seems to be about the same. She's... <laughs> she's wasting our time saying... Uh, wasting our time saying um a lot. Friggin' around with her messy hair. They just, like, disappear. If you're a girl, you know what I mean. But I recently bought this container of bobby pins, and there's, like, a magnetic thing in the middle, so they, like, are drawn to that. So... Oh, very fascinating, Amber. Um... I'm not entirely sure exactly what we're doing. Obviously, we're gonna go eat somewhere because that's just obviously what, we do. what. What the hell else is there to do in life, right? And um, grateful in. <laughs> uh. There are so many movies out that I want to see. Oh my god. Okay, there is Split, which I've been wanting to see for I can't even tell you how long now. Um, there's Rings that actually recently came out. If you guys have ever seen, like, Ring 1, Ring 2. So back then, I guess she used to go places and do things. Because I'm pretty sure she's there. She's around the same weight now. So I'm not sure why it is exactly that Amber's doing so much less. Like, I, I guess her weight's pretty unchanged, but she lost a lot of abilities. I've seen both. Like, when was the last time you saw Amber go to the movies? I'm just saying. So, yeah. And then there's monster trucks. And there's just... Oh, yeah. The Space Between Us. Oh, my God. That looks like such an amazing movie. Yes. But I think we're going to see Rings. Because... I don't know. It just looks... Oh, Amber's going on... Like, getting a perfume. Going on a date with her girlfriend that dumped her. Really good. Sad. And I'm really into, like, horror. I get scared, like, really easily, though. So that's a thing. So, since Beyonce is having twins... Remember, you, you don't get scared easy enough, in my opinion. You, you don't get scared enough to 
not order friggin' Uber Eats. And even though I don't care, let's use Beyonce Heat for perfume today. Yes. You're, you're smoldering, Amber, you're so hot. So today I'm wearing no necklace because I have these gaudy earrings on, but I'm like really in love with these, so I am okay with that. I feel like she still wears those. Um, I don't hate those earrings. I don't hate this so whole ensemble. I'll see you guys it's right. in a little bit. Oh, right. by the way, Tony, you were like, Amber Lynn, take that puff off of your um, wallet because it looks really stupid. So I just put it attached to my key. I have a Hello Kitty key. So, I don't know. <laughs> and I have socks in my purse from when we went bold. So, but... So you just took it off because people on YouTube said to? All right, Maybe. that's okay. stupid. My purse is a literal. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> now we don't we don't know that the smell is rancid for sure. You know we don't. <laughs> that's right now. That's a thing. Oh, Brooklyn's making banana bread tonight. See that that just I cheered me up. Okay, I'm gonna go because I keep rambling. Mm. All right. We decided to go to Texas Roadhouse. Destiny has been craving some good old chicken, so let's go. You guys think Amber is paying? <laughs> you guys, like Destiny breaks up with her. Do you think Amber is still paying to do all this stuff? Aren't you a kind soul? <laughs> Romantic destiny still opening doors for her. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Like Amber used to go places and do things. That's crazy. What happened? Okay, so we and she's around the same weight now. I don't get it. Costco. So it must be because of her high ankle sprain. We've talked about that. In the ankle chat on our Discord, she's got this high ankle sprain, and I tell you what, that can connect to your eye and cause eye problems, or something called the eye ankle fibulus, right? We talk all about it in the ankle chat. Membership for a while, so I think we're going to do that. <sighs> what? We just go in there? You you just, yeah, just go in, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And then you're, you're so <laughs> what is she doing here? Smile. What kind of photo is this? Okay, so what kind of photo was that? Do you guys know what was going on there? It's so weird. I think we're gonna do that. Costco membership for a while, so. Oh, think, getting a Costco membership. That. So and here's Amber hooking Destiny up with a Costco membership. Yeah. <laughs> She's still trying to pay Destiny to have to be with her. It's like, <laughs> yeah, he's going. I guess. <laughs> Why did Amber says good job? What is Destiny? Is she a dog? Like, <laughs> okay, so we just got out of Costco. We ended up getting a membership, so that's awesome. We ended up getting a membership. They're no longer together. Why did they get a Costco membership together? We got a Costco membership. It looks like Amber bought Destiny a Costco membership. Am I wrong? And the lady who, um, did the membership <laughs> she was like i'm gonna look you up on youtube because you had to say like what your job was and i put youtube whatever and um she was like i'm gonna look you up so if you're watching this hey girl <laughs> you're super nice so we just got i needed some more like shampoo and conditioner so i got that i saw this popcorn i wanted we got some um like just plate. idly bought a giant bag of popcorn because you wanted it i don't know I don't know, whatever. I mean, you're not to friggin' follow every whim, I'm mm. just saying. What is this? It's for, it's oh, like for ice, ice or whatever. Ice. So I have to clean the toilet, some bowls, some diet soda. <clears throat> and yeah, so I'm gonna go park the car, whatever the heck. 
those are at. I'll see you in a little bit. Great question. Strawberry Shortcake asked, who got custody of the Costco membership? Well, considering Destiny was the only one who could drive there, I'm going to assume Destiny did. <laughs> Thank you all. God bless you guys. Have a good day. Uh -huh. Appreciate it. You're, You're welcome. welcome. So, if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, you definitely should. Um, I am Rarity Cat, R A R I T Y. Oh, I remember her Snapchat rants. Do you guys and remember this? I post on there as frequently as I can. Oh, I was getting it last night. Oh, there's Amber feeling herself. Oh, boy. I make a fool of myself. is so cool. Look how badass she oh is. Oh my god, I love them! Oh Who are god. these people? <laughs> We've never seen these people before or after again. <laughs> Who are these people? Oh, these poor kids. They they don't know. They Oh my god. Imagine going through your life knowing that buried deep in the Amberverse you are somewhere in an Amberlynn Reed video. Oh shoot, the copyright. Dang it, I missed it. Damn it, I'm gonna get... Ugh. Shoot. I wasn't paying attention. God damn it, Amber, with your... Are you serious? Ugh, God, I, I just lost my monetization, I'm sure. Good lord, Amber. Ugh, God. She is so friggin' annoying. This was last night. Amber, this is friggin' fascinating. Great, your Snapchat is just... My bestie, I friggin' love you. Your bestie. When, when, when have we seen the bestie? <laughs> Claims by Sony. I know, now I'll have to edit and I'm gonna lose the chat. So I don't lose it. Oh my god. I am so mad at Amber right now with the friggin' stupid Snapchats. Are you serious? Oh my god. Ugh. Amber, you are despectful. Yeah, and where's your bestie, Amber, huh? Yeah, I, I was your bestie, but then you just gave me a copyright claim. Love you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I love Snapchat. Didn't I just see that? I pressed the wrong button. I'm sure you did, Bestie. Amber. Nobody cares oh, about your stupid snaps. God, she's still showing the snap. I gotta get off the Snapchat because she's gonna friggin' make this even worse. Yeah, because that is where I communicate the most with my followers. So follow me on there. With your besties. I'm just promoting my Snapchat. <laughs> what did you miss, Johnny? I missed, you missed Amber playing her Snapchat that was full of copyrighted music. And friggin' I didn't mute it. And I'm probably gonna lose my monetization. That's what you dang missed. Dang it, Amber! Keep laughing. I can't. I can't. Uh, Peaches said, I remember she said 10 seconds or less didn't matter about copyright. Ugh, God, I can't. Can I not react to these vlogs? As a blanket. Oh yeah, this is what we're gonna watch. Cool. First you watch it, then you die. So this was like a date day. <laughs> it like that's like a date day. I was gonna say the narc lord. That may that may have used to be true. Um with ten seconds. I I, I don't even know. I don't know. Just mute this part. Well, you guys are a little behind. If I have to mute this, I'm gonna like friggin' lose. <laughs> this my... cracks me up. I wonder if they're gonna tell her like. <laughs> Destiny's walking way ahead of her. No, <laughs> I can't do that. So Destiny had to go to the restroom, but for my movie theater snacks, I just got some of these Airhead soft fill bites. There's six sweetly sour flavor. Of course you did, Amber. Why? Like, oh my God! God forbid you don't get candy when you see it. 
Jeez, oh, you can't just walk away. I've you got to try. Freaking like a child. And, that's and another one. Got the stout, uh, the Starburst gummy sours, which is shocking because she right. hates sour candy. So this kind of surprised me. Sour candy. I. Anyway, now she's playing a movie. Guys, she is the worst. She is the friggin' worst. Hey guys, Hi. so I've been home for a little bit now and I finally did it. As you guys know, I've been really wanting to try, you know, wearing lipstick and stuff. I feel like I'm going through like a thing because I want to get my septum pierced next weekend. Um, I'm pretty nervous. I need to like really think about this. I'm, Am I making the right choice? <laughs> but it's something I want to do. And yeah, I just feel like I'm just going through. Like, Septum, is that the friggin' bowl earring that makes you look like a bowl? I just, I'm not sure how flattering that look was on Amber. And, like people always say like when people break. She streamed the entire movie. Up, They start like changing and stuff. And I'm like, uh. no, that's not true. I feel myself changing and i didn't notice until i was hanging out with charla and she was like you're so different like you're just you just act so different and i'm like oh like i guess i don't know i am changing a little bit but um not in a bad way so i got two wait wait wait. so she's actually so the video is titled i'm changing and here amber says mm, i guess i'm changing a little bit are you changing or not <laughs> Uh, Jamie said this is how, quote, she's changing. I, she went out to eat, went to a store, went to the movies. Of these. <laughs> with her ex. <laughs> Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. <laughs> I'm, like, super nervous. I got one in... Is that... Where is, like, what they're called? Like, the actual name. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. I got one in HD Romance and HD Kisses. So, this... All right, it looks be, like she I talks like about those for, like, a while. If I only use them once and I don't like them, I'm going to be like, Sharla, I only use them once. You can have them if you want them because I don't think she'd care. Like, we share stuff all the time. Oh, <laughs> um, her friend Sharla. I wonder, what, I wonder where she is today. But I am super excited. I'm more so excited for the romance one. Yeah, Jody said Sharla is her very best bestie who totally is her friend now. <laughs> because it's more so like a red. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just excited and I want to share that with you guys. Uh, she's so happy and giggly. <laughs> what? I just, I just wanted to show you my lipsticks. She's so cool. She's so girly. Yeah, Megan said, spoiler alert, she never wears these. Uh, this is five years ago, Jen. This is um, the beginning of 2017 when Amber was single. Oh, yeah. Charlotte definitely peaced out, Jamie. <laughs> oh. Anyways. <laughs> um, I just made a fool of myself on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Not Instagram. What the hell? Snap. Is that more music playing in the background right now? Cat. Uh. I'm, like, losing my mind. Wow, this was a very boring video, guys. This, uh, so I guess we have more of this to look forward to. That's fun. Jeez Louise. So how about, so that was I'm changing. Next is she's moved on. Now this is only a seven minute video. And it looks like Amber dressed herself up for it. It looks like she's got like the lipsticks and the red shirt and the. Kiss me now, baby's on. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. I want to watch uh, two more. I want to watch. She's moved on, and then I want to watch new apartment. Guys, I don't know. This is like kind of an exciting. Brooklyn said no one cares. <laughs> I care if my if my shiz gets uh, demonetized. Let me check on it real fast before I move forward. Let me see. I'll have a timestamp. Don't worry if you're watching this on YouTube. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. Why is this being so annoying for me to check right now? All right. 
Well, I won't waste time with that. So I want to watch, um, she's moved on. <laughs> oh, she sure did, Amber. Hey guys. Hi. So before anyone says anything, yes, I do have a cold sore on my lip. This happens whenever it gets super cold out and the wind like hits my lips over and over and then I start licking my lips and it's like a whole thing. And I just want to say like it happens to Destiny too and she currently has one right along with me. So I thought that was really weird. But anyways, what do I want to say? Okay, sure so the frequent question of the day is, does Destiny have a girlfriend? Did Destiny cheat on you? Did, has Destiny moved on? How could Destiny do this? And oh my god, it's like so crazy how much like people are so <clears throat> invested in Destiny, which I totally understand. Like mm -hmm. our whole relationship was on here. Every, everything. And it's basically your whole channel. No offense, Amber, but... Destiny, the vlog that I just reacted to, Destiny was the life of it. <laughs> the rest of it, like the stuff that's just you, it was you putting bobby pins in your hair and talking about lipsticks. Pretty much. And, um, but I do feel kind of weird, um, uh, making this video. And that's why I have not made this video for a very long time, I feel like. No, it's been, it's been a little bit that I wanted to make this video, but... I wanted to wait for the right time and I wanted to wait until like Destiny was 100% cool with it because obviously I'm not going to sit here and tell her whole life story. This is from February 10th, 2017. So and remember, she posted that they broke up January 26th, so just to give you guys an idea. Like that's not appropriate. Um, but has Destiny moved on? Yes. Did Destiny cheat on me? No, I believe that Destiny is not that type of person. Destiny is an amazing person. She was an amazing girlfriend and I love her dearly still. Um, but she has moved. <laughs> still loves her. <laughs> At least she admitted it. She is interested in another girl and the girl is interested in her. And um, that's not up for me to decipher and to decide and to investigate over and took sure is an amber back off talk about and to steam over like no like yeah i cry alone like i that's just what i do is my makeup messed up like okay i feel like my makeup is always messing up because i decided to try cover up or foundation really and i'm just not used to it okay anyways moving on but um yeah i do cry about it like it's very shocking because sure you do uh, this was, uh, <laughs> that was your 25th birthday, Mike? Oh. <laughs> oh, Amber, I'm sure did cry over this. I was her everything at one point. And, um, I have just been on a roller coaster with this whole thing. Um, the fact that Destiny already found someone else mm. is, is hard for me. It, it really is. And, um... We still have a really good friendship, though, and I don't want to jeopardize that by, like, I don't know. I just don't want to jeopardize that. And I want people to know that, no, Destiny did not cheat on me. She was not talking to this girl while we were together mm. like that. Not at all. We were actually all friends. I so know it's... Sophie's here now, the narc alert. I mean, we don't have to talk about it, for frig's sake. Anyway. It's definitely ironic that that's happened, but it is what it is, and... Um, we're still going to continue living together. <laughs> and this also changes not long after this. So this will be the next video we watch. Because this is our home and we're both on the lease and this is our home. Like we have made a home here and just because the home might be broken doesn't mean we should just up and leave it that's wrong that's messed up in my opinion i would not leave destiny here to take care of all this by herself and she wouldn't do that to me either because we did get this place together mm -hmm. and i'm very grateful that the girl that destiny is talking so you're living together at a convenience it so you don't want to break the lease it, they're just living together <laughs> at a convenience <laughs> to his like understanding i guess about it and i don't i don't really know what to say about that but her moving on has definitely given me time to breathe and to be myself and to move on um, amber is so much different isn't she guys 
So she's, <laughs> this is like a running theme. Like now Amber's free. Now that she's not in a relationship anymore, what does that remind you of? Remember how Becky kept her in a cage? Myself? Um, it's been a whirlwind. It's been hard. Like, it's a problem if you continuously become not yourself when you're in a relationship. That's an issue. Just me talking about it right now, I feel like I don't even know what to say. Like, I feel like my emotions are everywhere. And I'm just like, I never imagined myself sitting here saying this. Like, I didn't. I never thought I would come on here and be like, Destiny, like, like someone else. Like, I never imagined that. And it's really weird for me. What is that loud ass noise outside? Um, no, 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 no. I, it is weird for her because according to Amber, she's the sun. <laughs> Everything revolves around Amber. So I'm sure she was very surprised when Destiny moved on. That's why if I'm acting kind of weird right now, I, I feel kind of weird right now because I have I feel very like I wasn't good enough. Um, I do say that to Destiny here and there like i'm sure you do amber you're probably very difficult to live with right now you know i just feel like i wasn't good state. enough and i feel really bad like that i had to ruin our relationship and she always tells me you were good enough and it's it's a whole it's, thing it's, amber that's so weird like come on oh don't lean on your exes for emotional support it's a whole thing i guess you know when two people are meant to be together they'll be together and if they're not meant to be together then they won't be together and I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> I really hope one day I can pick myself up and be like, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to date someone. Like, uh -huh. I really hope that happens one day. But as of right now, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. I don't know. I feel very just like, wow, it's time to take care of myself. It's time to focus. Spoiler alert. <laughs> She was in a re another relationship not long after this. We're going to watch. Huh? It's time to stop focusing so much energy on someone else because that's how I am when I'm in a relationship. Yeah, okay. I'm very yeah, much okay. like hardcore focusing on them and I don't care about myself. And I start like, I totally just like stop taking care of myself. And that's not, that's never how it should be in a relationship. You should well, be Amber, able to if you stop taking care of yourself while you're in a relationship, that probably has to do with the breakups. That's weird. Why would, like, don't. What? Come on. I, I know she's so selfless, right, Thornback? She's so she gives and gives and gives so much. She doesn't have time to brush her hair. When you know that you can also take care of yourself while giving them their needs or what have you. I don't know what to say. Ugh, but so many people wanted me to talk about this and I just I I don't know. Um actually today ironically enough is Friday. Let's hope I upload this today. Um, Let's hope. It's not like you're in charge of that or anything, Amber. <laughs> Let's hope the universe let her upload this video in t on time. And it's actually been four weeks exactly. Right, Matt Simmer said she acts like she takes care of herself when she's single. <laughs> oh, yeah. Since yikes. Destiny broke up with me, she did it on the Friday, the 13th of January. And that was on Friday, and it's been four weeks since then. And so happy anniversary to a breakup, yo. Okay, I'm just kidding. Um, I will say, though, that I have felt tremendously different and better in just, like, the last week. I don't know if it's right. because I have amazing friends that I love, and I have people I can talk to. You had. <laughs> Sophie asked, when is she single? Well, since you missed the beginning of this video... Cause you were busy or whatever she was single that for a four month period it looks like nearly four, four months we're watching videos from that era right now who and who are there for me and who are willing to listen to me keep me company make me happy and make me laugh and put me up and put up with me when i don't brush my hair or my teeth for days me realize that i don't need to be fucking brokenhearted forever because it's just it's not worth the pain like there is nothing more i can do say i need to stop worrying it's just like it's over like i'm done fucking freaking out about it like i am so done and i just it's time to move on but um anyways <laughs> see this was the, the she was so close she like realized what she had to do in this moment but 
Did she did she did not she yes yeah, she did move on quickly she found someone as quickly as possible i don't know what this video is i really don't like i don't know what to say uh <laughs> i'm so awkward i'm gonna go like i don't know what to say like you guys kept asking she's gonna go she's gonna go find someone to trap now so now i tell you destiny has moved on me and destiny are still friends me and destiny will still live together me and Destiny will still hang mm -hmm. out. Um, what else? What else do I no. have for you guys? No, that didn't last long. Yeah, they did live together for a little bit longer after this, but... I don't know. But sorry about my lip. It's really horrible. I can't wait for it to heal, and I'm sorry for playing with my hair. I'm gonna go. This is a fucking mess. But I will get there. Um, I will move on. And I will stop feeling pain eventually. It will happen. I'm getting there. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, you didn't. You didn't, though. I'm not saying that she wasn't getting there at the point of the recording this, but she never quite got there. She she got there to uh, Becky's house, but <laughs> they did hang out for four years, Junix, but off and on, you know, kind of. Not really. <laughs> I'm gonna rewatch this video and be like, girl, do I even wanna upload this? I don't even know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Well, you sure did, Amber. What the heck else were you gonna upload? Another grocery haul? For frig's sake. <laughs> okay, so next I wanted to watch. So that was She's Moved On, right? That was from February 10, 2017. Um, she talks about being friends with my ex's new girlfriend for a while. Get Drunk With Me was here. Um, let's see. But this is when, um, here's, let's watch Amber pretend to be happy for Destiny. <laughs> when Destiny moves out. It's titled, New Apartment. The thumbnail is Amber smiling and it says, so proud of her with a big smiley face that looks, it's such an obnoxious smiley face. It looks sarcastic. So let's give this one a watch. I'm sure Amber was thrilled for Destiny when she moved out with Dana. <laughs> okay, That's so much. I am currently okay. outside of um, where I used to work. And I'm waiting for Mary because we're going to hang out today. Yay! Um, Destiny dropped me off because she's awesome. <laughs> and obviously because I live with her and it was just like perfect. So yeah, I'm waiting for her right now. She should be out any minute. And I so... Look Destiny was Amber's chauffeur to hang out with her friends. Super waiting for her out in the parking lot. Like, who am I? Oh, God. I'm sure. I mean, that this is all the kind of stuff that I'm sure Becky or Destiny was thrilled to not have to do anymore. I am. I look like a crazy right now. Sorry. <laughs> Here is Mary, the wonderful Mary. Yes. <laughs> uh, so Mary, guys, do we, um, Matt Simmer asks, who the hell is Mary? Mary is an example of the type of person that I mentioned before. Like, imagine knowing that you exist in an old, buried Amberlynn Reed vlog somewhere on the internet. Some, like, that was posted five years ago, and you know it's there, and it's been there, and oh my god. Oh, jeez. We have all missed you. <laughs> I know, poor Mary. <laughs> uh. All missed you. Oh, Ella said... Amber's friend, she dragged Amber around to all of their stores looking for things for her wedding and then didn't invite Amber to the wedding. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, there is music, isn't it? Well, it's in a restaurant, though. though I, I, I think that doesn't count if I remember correctly. But let me skip. Look, it is what it is. There's going to be holes in this re-upload. God, the music. Guys, you met Mary, right? I can skip this now. Sorry about that. There's music. I don't like it. Poor Mary. Right now, Mary got her first apartment. I'm beyond proud of her right now. Oh, Mary got an apartment. Yeah. God, poor Mary. Friggin' her apartments on YouTube and all of it. Jesus. What? Yes, Mary. <laughs> Look what my fiance did. Yes. Set up everything. Her fiance set up. See, that's a good point. Brooklyn said the thing is, if somebody comes up to Mary and says they saw her in an Amber video, that means 
they're admitting they watch old Amber vlogs. That's a good <laughs> stuff put bowls in the cabinet like a good man that he is so this is about yes. her friend mary not about destiny oh my God, i'm so proud of you i'm so i'm just I like I got this my is first weird apartment. i was like so excited you don't even know it's awesome why are you why is it amber's like oh can i live here please amber's like i'm excited can i live here she look at her licking her lips she's like oh can mary ask me to live with her she said, do you need a roommate? <laughs> right? Jody said, surprised Amber didn't film her address and apartment number. <laughs> uh, yeah, Matt said, I hope Mary is doing good, even though I barely kn knew her. Right? I mean, this was a cute apartment, Mary. That's nice. Amber, Amber's like, oh, this is cute. I want this. She's like, can I live here? <laughs> Oh gosh, so I guess Mary then had to give her give her a ride home. Here we go. Uh, Haley said, who makes a whole video about someone else's apartment? Well, this is more copyrighted music. Guys, these old vlogs are just a landmine of like issues with copyright. Like this is terrible. For one hour of sleep um tornado sirens were going off and i didn't even know this state oh, no. had tornado sirens. oh traumatizing amber and, and it was really scary and i started freaking out and it was a whole thing hail thunder lightning wind that literally knocked down the house like literally knocked down the house that's a wall behind you it has been out you know that friggin People really do lose their houses in tornadoes, right, Amber? Like, that's a literal thing that happens. It's extremely unfortunate. Now you're, now you're joking about that. Friggin' with a fully functional wall behind you. Yeah, this must have been in Kentucky, Matt Simmer. Yeah, every state does have tornado silence, sirens, Haley. We get them here sometimes, even, in New Jersey. I had a really, we had a really scary tornado warning once. A uh, few, this was years ago. It was like, it was nearly one in the morning and it was in February. And there was a literal tornado heading literally towards us. And it was very scary. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Even, even here in New Jersey, and Amber. Everything is fine. Um, still super cloudy, just a little bit of rain, but. Um, no more tornado warnings, and so far, from what I know, everywhere around me is okay, so that's a plus, but Good. I just, it was really scary. We were all huddled in the bathroom. It was kind of a funny situation. I wish I would have vlogged it, but the power was out, pitch black. It was just really bad, but we're all good. good. Oh my god, Amber, are you serious? Like, Why? Just for a stupid shot of you typing on your keyboard? Why? I can't react to these videos, guys. This is very annoying. Alright, well, this is a dumb video anyway. This is a new apartment, but it was Mary's new apartment, which I feel like I just, um... I feel like that was none of my business watching right now. Alright, so... So proud of her. That was about this random Mary... Oh, girls' night out, hotel living. That's right. I think Mary's in this one. I think another boring way in. Taquito mukbang. <laughs> Jesus, Amber. Pizza Hut mukbang. Grocery haul full of crap. Jesus. Delicious snack idea. It's a lot of mukbangs. Vet visit mini vacation there's so much here guys i could like oh my god reading hate comments and rumors the truth oh my god there's so many here sorry guys i i should have prepared um oh i'm not sure if uh right lindsay said didn't she get demonetized for the music as soon as this is done it'll take me a minute to get the timestamps up because i have to edit out the music so 
friggin' Amber. I have to edit it, which means the chat isn't going to be available for, like, guys, I can't. Anyway. Do the mini vacation? Oh, my God. I kind of want to watch opening up. It's a 15-minute video, though. Okay, so this is getting wedding wedding ready. So this must be with the friends. Like, she went shopping with her, right? That's what you guys were saying, right? She went shopping with her, and then she wasn't even invited to the wedding. That's... That's kind of funny. Musk. All right, I'm going to watch um, opening up. It's 15 minutes. Too fat to fit on a plane gets me every time. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, I know her old Vlogmas videos are gold mine strawberry shortcake. We will She completed a Vlogmas looks like or nearly completed in 2017. So we can definitely watch those in a future. But I didn't have any Ambers to catch up on today. So I want her to watch these. I'm going to watch opening up. Hey, everyone. Okay, so... All right, actually... This video... I don't even know where to really start. But have you guys ever watched one of my videos and you sat there and you're like, was this video hard for Amber Lynn to film? Oh. Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. But... If you ever ask yourself that question, this one is very hard. I have decided back oh and boy. forth if I should, if I shouldn't, if I should, if I shouldn't. Um, and my heart tells me I should. Um, if you guys don't know, I do go on You Now quite frequently. My heart tells me I should? You should what? You know what? Don't think the only thing you should do is stop. Um, or at least I try to. I try to go on Monday through Friday for at least an hour to talk to you guys. Um... I just feel like it's very one-on-one -on -one and I really God, enjoy you it. now was everything. And on there I open up more, by far more than I open up on here. Um, which is ironic, really, in a sense. Because YouTube is my main focus and my passion and I just love it Her so much. Her passion. By that she means this is how I make money. <laughs> which is alright. But on there it just feels a little bit more easier to open up and be my true self and share things with you guys. And... One of the things that I recently did share is about my depression, which I have talked about this several times before. Um, I was diagnosed with depression at the age of nine. Um, I've been through the ringer of therapists and counselors and that whole bit. Um, I have taken Prozac and Wilbutrin. Um, let me tell you, Prozac does not work. <laughs> for me, it didn't work. For other people, it might. But for me, firsthand, it did not work. Robuchin definitely did better things. But when I turned 18, I got taken off of my medication because I was a foster child. And when I turned 18, I left the foster system. So that left me with zero insurance. And ever since then, I have not taken a single antidepressant, which is really bad for someone with depression. Um, I'm See, gonna be I, I don't know. I feel bad because I, I can relate some up, somewhat with the... I also had like insurance issues when I was younger. Hey, Jamie. <laughs> Brooklyn said the cue was, when are you going to get a therapist? And the an and she answered, I'm shopping for one. <laughs> uh, anyway. I... So, it, so Amber's been struggling with these things for a long time. And I mean, I don't know what's going on with her insurance, but she certainly has the... She certainly has the resources to get herself help with these issues. Yeah. My depression comes in waves and they come very strong. Um, so that's kind of something I want to talk about today with you guys. And as a lot of you know, my other passion besides YouTube is writing. I discovered my flair for writing when I was in sixth grade. I know a lot of people say my grammar when I speak is very like not good. And I definitely agree quote that very like not good <laughs> i agree but for very some reason like, when i write good. i feel like a completely different person i go into a completely different world and i will forever love writing so i want to share a poem that i wrote yeah i could so speed this up this is need critiques oh my god she's sharing a poem everybody are you excited yeah i'm gonna speed it up a little bit just because it's a long um I don't want judgment. This is not 
one of my best pieces of work at all. I have about over 40 poems that I have written that I actually currently have on my Okay, phone. so it's not her best. It's not her best. We're not going to criticize her too much. Yes, a poem, Ella. We're watching a poem. And I'd really love to share some of those with you guys, um, but I don't know how it's going to go over. So I do want to share this one poem. It is titled My Depression. Um, oh, boy. When I write poetry, I do it on my computer. Are you ready to the narc alert? This is because I cannot handwrite a poem, especially when I first start, because... I write a lot slower than my mind goes, but I type extremely fast. So when I know I want to write a poem, I will uh, get out my laptop and I'll write a poem that way because my typing is just like speedy and I get it all out when I need to get it out. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and making Read me the this poem. This is where my depression comes in. Um, I was laying in bed one day and I woke up. Wait, I... did she read the poem? Woke up and I laid in bed for probably four hours and I didn't move. I... Oh, come on. That's a normal day for me. I had no desire. <laughs> <laughs> at all to get out of my bed it was horrible it's a horrible feeling and that is my depression i felt like there was no meaning i didn't want to get up and do anything um a lot of people confuse that with see, the, see that's the thing unfortunately in my experience anyway the medication isn't gonna assign meaning for you right those are like the types of things you know you gotta help yourself a little bit and not expect the medication to do friggin everything I'm definitely by far not lazy it was my depression eating at okay me. she's and not lazy she promises and huh. that is when i took my friend's advice and i sat there and i made a video of how i felt i'm not gonna upload that video because i cried a lot and it was just mainly for myself. you know actually i'm sorry i want to keep talking about it i don't understand how you can lay in bed for hours when you first wake up when you have pets that i don't get at all because you guys think that my pets let me just lay there when i wake up are you serious i was up at 3 30 in the morning letting the dog out last night i then she she proceeded to cuddle with me for the rest of the night the cat starts bothering me to eat his wet food like I, I have to do the litter box. Like, how do you just lay there for four hours? Don't, don't your pets, like... I do agree that depression will do that, Lindsay. I'm just saying. Yeah, Brooklyn was saying my cat was pawing my face this morning. <laughs> Simba wasn't doing that, but he was meowing very loudly. <laughs> like, I, I don't get... Like, Amber at this point, and still does, have multiple pets. Like, how on earth did they let her just lay there? They're hungry. They gotta go to the bathroom. Like, what? D so, you have a dog. <laughs> and you don't get up to let the dog out? It's been all night. Like, you don't think the dog has to go to the bathroom? I don't know. I, I feel like my pets don't let me be depressed. <laughs> Even if I wanted to lay in bed. But I later on, a couple hours later, when I finally got up out of bed, um, I took that video. I sat down. I opened my laptop. Word for word, I typed down exactly what I said. And that oh, is good God. Did you take the dog out first before you did that? <laughs> when you finally got up? This poem comes from. I didn't take out any words. I didn't add any words. Nothing. I did strictly how I felt in that very moment. When my depression was... Rio lets you sleep. Well, good for you, the narc alert. Good for you, not Simba. <laughs> oh, so bad that I felt like, what is the point of even being alive? Um, depression is scary. Uh, if you guys have experienced it, yeah. I want you guys to know that you're not alone. And I feel like this poem is going to open up a lot of people to make them realize they're not alone. And I come on YouTube and I put a fake smile a lot. I really do. Um, I could be really happy in my relationship. I could be really happy in my friendships. I can be just in the middle of a room full of wonderful people. And uh, Matt Simmer said, not her transcribing a video and calling it poetry. I think she hasn't gotten to the poem yet. And or my anxiety will hit so hard that I feel like there is no point in even taking another step. It's very scary. And for me, depression kind of feels like I'm mourning someone who died, even though no one died. And I hate that feeling. So I wanted to come on here and read you guys. Um... We're now six minutes in. Six minutes and four seconds. So she spent six minutes talking about a poem, but we haven't heard it yet. A poem. Again, 
I don't need critiques. This is not my best okay. work. This is just how I'm I sure it isn't. felt in that moment when I was laying in bed feeling like my life wasn't even worth living. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be like, Amberlynn, are you suicidal? No, I'm not. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so what is this? This is titled Opening Up. So you know what? I signed up for this, guys. I signed up for this. This is my fault. Sorry. It is depression. Depression talks. And so wait, Strawberry Shortcake said, this poem cured my depression and watered my crops. Wow. Depression talks loudly, um, even if no one wants to hear it. So right. I'm going to read you guys um, the poem. What so, poem is that? Here it goes. I'm actually very scared to upload this. I'm even scared just to read this out loud. When I did this on you now, does anyone phone. recognize her phone? That's curious. Eyes out. I feel a little bit stronger now. Um, a little bit more empowered. Like I can do this, and I got this. And I just feel like people need to hear that they're not alone at all. Okay, got so you. it's called my depression. Yeah, got you. It's one of. It's a very. Hold on, let me. Hey Siri. How many people in America have depression? Um, in the U.S., approximately 10% of people suffer from major depression at any one time. So hopefully you guys with depression know that you're not alone. Oh God, don't cry. Like I told myself I was not going to cry. So no, I'm Amber's not. got depression. Unlike other people though, it's a very unique depression. Try not to. Her depression prevents like her from walking her dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I can't is I'm gonna... It is crushing me like it doesn't even realize I am there. So many things and thoughts racing through your head like a monster truck in the nightlife. But somehow it breaks down and you're left there broken. I see things around you're me. You're left there broken. Amberlynn Reed, 2017. Meaning, their presence is there for a reason. But I am numb to those reasons. And I feel like I am suffocated by just the air that I breathe. My heart feels like it weighs 10,000 pounds. My tears feel like they're 7,000 pounds. Oh, it probably does. Degrees hot. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no! No, Hannah, I'm so sorry. God. Oh, no. Hannah said this poem twisted my ankle. Hannah, get in the Mother Goose's ankle chat in the Discord. We'll help you out. There are so many people in this world, and yet I feel like I'm the only one here. I hear the birds. I do. I see the trees outside. I hear the cars going down my street. The sun is out, not a cloud. She hears the cars going down her street. So uh. But I feel like everything is so out of reach. I've been laying here for hours, trying to find a reason to get up. What happens when nothing is worth the pain? The sadness, the tears? I feel like I'm drowning in my own depression. Can you see it? The people who truly I'm care sorry, about me. But... This is terrible. Yeah, this is Tumblr 2014, Ella, but this is Amber 2017. Uh, guys, I, I don't, I don't. <laughs> I'm laughing because of the chat. <laughs> oh God, I hope I don't lose my chat because of copyright. Let's see. see. Do you want to help me? So many people tell me I need to see a doctor, but they don't know how I truly feel. They don't know the void that I have inside of me. A small circular pill will not take this feeling away. No matter how much- Right, you're right. It's not. You also gotta work on yourself a little bit too. You're right, the round circular pill, even a square pill, won't cure you. It's, you, you work together with the medication, right? Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Oh my God, you guys are killing me. You want to drug me? Tell me to take medicine. I know I were. I know I will forever feel this way. It's like I'm staring at a million people, and they're all staring back at me, but they see through me. Well, I'm like sure they up. are. I don't mean to. It's. Just... <laughs> I feel so bad for. Her. No, really, guys. I'm sorry. This is. This is very sad. But so you can see that she's been struggling with things and not getting help for herself for a very long time i can scream all i want but my screams are muffled out by selfish voices <sighs> that was hard to read um i know a lot of people will be um taking what they want out of that but that is how i felt in the moment i i do have the video of me 
Amber, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Laying in bed, and I didn't even have it facing me. I actually had it facing my window, and you see my blanket, and I'm just, I'm kind of just distraught um, in the moment. I do see your blanket. That's very profound, Amber. It's a pink blanket. So hmm. many people suffer. So many people yes. suffer from depression. This is not, um, this doesn't make you a monster. I feel- Yes, and by the way, Amber's not saying it, but I'll let you know that depression is not a death sentence. It's that you're not going to have it forever and ever. It's it's possible to recover. I would say. Very strange talking about depression. Like she just talks about her disorders as if it's like a fixed thing that she can do absolutely nothing about. Like her astrological sign or something. Like there's absolutely nothing you can do for depression. Because I feel like... There's such a stigma around it that I... Hey, Rachel said that seems like prose, not poetry. Don't criticize our poetess. That's right, Megan. Deep Lynn. I don't really understand. Um, you could be sitting next to the most nicest, friendliest person with a huge smile on their face, but deep down they have depression and they hide that. And that's, that's kind of me. That's kind of what I go through a lot because I want to come on YouTube and I want to come on you now and I want to be positive. I want to be a positive influence as much as possible. And it's really hard to do when I feel this black hovering shadow of depression just kind of following me. And I know that sounds gruesome and it sounds really bad, but. Right. The, I, that's, that's what I'm talking about. The gruesome, scary, dark cloud of depression or whatever. It's it's helpful to like look at it and work on it right instead of just letting it be so you're just going to succumb to the dark cloud you're not going to work on it at all like on my channel this is very much about me and i want to kind of open up more with you guys about the things that i'm going through in my life because i feel like i have kept a lot hidden there are a lot of things happening i'm sure you have <laughs> there's there's always <laughs> We always seem to know the half truth of what's going on with Amber. Um, with Strawberry Shortcake asked, how big is that shadow? God. Oh, Matt, you're here. I was, Matt. <laughs> I was literally just watching. I was literally just watching older videos of yours. <laughs> Talking about, God, what's his name? That Charles guy. Oh my God. <laughs> I was so into that at the time, anyway. And just people around me and just my emotions and my feelings and my eating disorder and my depression and my anxiety. Or eating disorder. That's another thing that's totally fixed that Amber can do absolutely nothing about and she'll have forever. Just to remind you guys. So much is happening and I'm not sharing that with you guys because I feel like I'm constantly judged and that's a very scary place to be in, especially when my- yeah, Those videos were the best, Matt. Oh my God. <laughs> Take me back. Is Where, what is he doing now? Did he disappear from the internet? You guys don't know who I'm talking to or about or what, but... God, that Vegan cheetah. Yeah, that's who we're... <laughs> <laughs> he kind of disappeared. Worse. When it's at its worst, um, YouTube is the last place I want to be. And that's why I kind of stopped uploading so much. And, you know, I, I make excuses and I'm like, oh, super busy. Oh, this and that. So you're lying. It's like... When my depression gets really bad, I don't see a purpose in doing anything. And it's honestly the scariest thing in the world. Um, if you guys go back and if you guys remember the time, uh, I feel like I'm getting emotional. When I used to wear my hair in buns, my hair would just always be in a bun. Um, and then I had this whole stage where, I don't even know if I want to share this. Um, I wore this really weird hairstyle where some of it was up and like some of it was down. It was like this really weird thing. Um, that's because my hair was in matted knots because I'm okay this so now when now whenever her hair now I'm gonna remember this now whenever her hair is in a bun I'm gonna assume that it's in a matted knot great depression I went I would wash my hair and I would not brush it I would wash my hair and I would not brush it I didn't brush my hair ugh, so horrible, for a couple months um mm -hmm. because my depression was so bad and I hid it from everyone sure of it. the only person who knew was destiny destiny was the only person who knew the things that I was going through and it was very hard and i'm very very grateful that i got out of that very dark hole because it was scary it's very scary when you so she's out of the dark hole now wait are, is she in or out of the hole i kind of lost track oh, that horrible 
because you feel like there's no way of climbing out of that hole. There's no ladder, there's no steps. You just feel like you're sinking more and more into the hole until there's no room to even breathe and the hole just gets smaller and you feel like- Oh, right. And Jody said, and yet never had to cut her hair. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that still wasn't a sign to please cut your hair, Amber. God. It's horrible. Um, I don't mean to make a depressing video. I will come at you guys with a better video or a more positive video, I promise. I just really wanted to share this with you guys. Um, how I'm currently feeling now, obviously like depression doesn't just go away, but the symptoms of depression for me, they do come and go in the sense of sometimes they're very light, kind of like right. a water painting that's just like super light. And sometimes they're like strong, like loud screamo metal music. And it's like the only thing I can pay attention so to. So light is depression, happening. everybody, don't worry. And right now I'm kind of like a water painting. Why Amber got her foot caught in the hole. She fell in the hole and twisted her ankle. She did twist her ankle during this period, by the way. I don't know if you guys are interested in that one, but she absolutely twisted her ankle during her single period. And I'm able to talk about it without crying and freaking out. <laughs> and I knew this was a good video for me to film for today because a lot of you guys- All right, Amber, you, we're not your therapist. You're not obligated to share these things to us, but she, for some reason, just cannot get herself a therapist. Like she just keeps talking to us about these issues as if the YouTube's ever going to cure her depression. Been telling me, Amberlynn, you seem very distant from YouTube. Why, Amberlynn? Why don't you film as much? Why? Like, what's going on? And um, the general sense of happiness. I want you guys to know that um, I am better than I was a couple months ago, a few months ago, um, in the happiness era, era, area. I guess it could be an era. So wait, a know. few months ago, at this point, this would have been while she was still with Destiny. So were you unhappy while you were with Destiny? <laughs> like I am happy, but <clears throat> happiness and depression for me do not go hand in hand. I feel like they're very two different things because depression is an illness, as sad as it sounds, and happiness is a feeling. And depression for me is not a feeling. Depression is an illness. Um, so just know that if you guys are experiencing depression, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, jeez. Then you should talk to someone. I know. <sighs> I should have been Amber, not Amber, telling us that we should talk to someone. <laughs> She's kidding, right? She's giving us advice to talk to somebody. Wow. In advice like that, because I literally don't talk to anyone, but I've been through that grapevine several times and I haven't found the right grape. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. But again, if anyone ever needs- You have, <clears throat> excuse me guys, jeez. So she hasn't found her grape? Boy, these, this was a rambling error that she was to, in. Just like a friend or anything? Yeah, she's happily depressed. And, and us. <laughs> You can definitely talk to me uh, or, you know, leave a comment down below and I'm Amber, sure- Amber, stop trying to give advice for frig's sake. Work on your dang self. Other people feel the same way and you guys can have a conversation together. I don't know. <clears throat> I just feel like it's very important to have kind of like a shoulder to lean on. A shoulder to lean on. It doesn't take away depression. Um, for me, pills don't take away depression either. But little things in life can't help. Uh, find something you love doing and try to focus on that. I know it's so much easier- Why is she giving- Amber- Take your own dang advice for frig's sake. I don't know. She said <clears throat> she said something about a grape, Lindsay. I don't know. Um, she's like, <clears throat> look at her face. She's so passionate about please giving people advice. Like she wants to do it so bad. That's why she wants to lose weight so she can give people advice how to do it. <laughs> done trust me been there done that by the way by the way people do not want your advice <laughs> even if even if you've had success people don't actually want to hear it ever for me lately music has been very <clears throat> very much there for me music is my therapist honestly and writing poetry is just amazing and beautiful and it just makes me feel like a completely different person now I feel emotional because poetry is like number one to me for sure. And I would love to share more of that with you guys um, sometime. So if you guys are interested in that, just like, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know what the hell is up with my voice. I feel like I can't even talk all of a sudden. <clears throat> excuse me. I got attacked by like, I don't know what I've had this friggin' cold thing for like a month. It's like driving me nuts and it's crazy. Oops. And it's crazy because I don't know. I, I went years without getting sick and then like this and I, I'm just glad I didn't get the COVID. Anyway. 
Rachel says she's the lazy sage who feels like they need to give advice and to everyone else but won't follow it themselves. She is the worst. She's the worst. <laughs> that's, yeah, I think I'm just a little choked up by the poem. I think that's what happened. Thank you, Jamie. Oracle Lynn. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right, so that was a whole bunch of, I don't know. So that was Amber when she was single. Wasn't she fun? <laughs> there's so much more. There's so much more. Like, there, there's a ton of videos here. So we can keep watching these in the future if we want. I would love to keep watching these because, I don't know, just single Amber fascinates me. <laughs> Emma says, she's like my brother. Excuse for everything. Ha! <laughs> I know some people are just good at excuses, honestly. Life Coach Lynn for the win. That's right, Kim. I love Life Coach Lynn. Her life advice is usually pretty solid. She just doesn't follow it herself, so I don't know what the purpose of that is. Huh. Gosh, I am so worried because of all the music that was in these reacts I did. I can. I, I hate that Amber had music in her. Take them down, God. <clears throat> I guess Amber Amber probably got demonetized and didn't realize why or probably just thought of herself as a victim when it happens and just kept uploading videos with music. <laughs> oh, thanks for keeping me company, Sophie. How nice. <laughs> I love retro reacts. This was this was this was fun, but I think I need to conclude this because I have to edit out music right now, and that's gonna be really annoying. I hate editing. <laughs> it's gonna be very annoying. So, wish me luck. But I did. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this cozy Monday stream. I want to remind you guys to join the Discord. The invite link is in the description box. I let you guys know when I'm going live. Uh, there and there's a whole lot of discussions in the Amberverse and a whole bunch of other cool stuff going on. You can talk about 90 Day Fiance. There's an ankle chat if you have ankle issues. All sorts of other things. So the next time Amberlyn uploads, I'll be live uh, the next day around noon. So definitely uh, keep an eye out for that. And other than that, guys, I hope you had a great weekend. Nice weekend, and I hope that you have a good week, and I will see you soon. Bye, everybody.